In this tutorial by the gamesmiths, we'll create a rain system and we'll try to imitate the real rain as much as we can. So let's not waste any more time and let's jump into it. So to start off, we'll go to our hierarchy and create a new effect and select particle system. Now as you can see, this just creates a particle system at the center of our screen emitting those soft spheres of light. However, that's not what we want it to be, so we'll need to change this light to be our droplets. To do so, we'll head to our renderer and we'll go for the material and change it to be sprite default. Once we did so, you'll see that it's now emitting those white squares, which is still not our sprite. So to add our sprite, we'll need to go to our texture sheet animation inside which you'll see the mode we will need to change it to be sprites and you can now drag and drop your sprite into this field now you'll see that it's now emitting our sprite perfectly so after that we'll need to go at the top of the inspector and we'll see a start color we'll need to change it to be random between two colors for the first one we'll leave it white as it is and for the second one we'll get a darker shade of gray just to have different colors of water droplets. Now after that, we'll go also to our start size and we'll make it random between two constants. The first one should be 0.3 and the second one will be 0.6. We did so because in the real world, the raindrops are not the same size. So we did this randomization to be simulating the real world as much as we can. Now after that, We'll also need to change our start speed to be random between two constants also. The first one shall be 2 and the second one will leave it 5 as it is. Okay, this randomizes the speed just to get it to be more realistic. Now after that, we'll head to our duration and set it to be 7. This will increase the lifetime of our effect. But still, it's emitting from this single point on the screen, which is not how rain reacts in the real world. So to change it, we'll head to our shape. And here we can change the shape from cone to be edge. So we're still not seeing the effect perfectly. So to change that, we'll increase the scale on the x-axis just to cover the whole screen. And we'll change the rotation to be negative 90. So it's raining downwards. Okay, now we'll just need to reposition the effect to the top of the screen. So as you can see now, we're having just a perfect train system. However, so far as you can see, the drop size does not change all over the journey to the ground, which is not how rain works in real life. So in order to change the size of the drop over its lifetime, we'll head down in the inspector and we'll see an option which is called size over lifetime activated now as you can see, the drops start small and increase its size as it falls to the ground. However, right now if we added any ground, the rain will not be interacting with it. So for example, if we created an empty game object, let's add a box collider to it and adjust the size. And let's just reposition this. Now let's get it to the bottom of the screen. As you run the game, you'll see that the rain does not interact with the ground at all. So in order to make it like bounce a little bit after hitting the ground, we'll need to head back to our particle system and we'll see an option which is called collision. Activate it and in the type select world. After that, do not forget to set the mode to 2D. Now as you can see, the rain just bounces back a lot. So in order to fix it, we'll go to the bounce effect and we'll set it to be 0.02 for example. Now as you can see, the raindrops once hit the ground, they will just bounce a little bit and then be destroyed. However, as I can see here, the maximum size of the drops is a little bit large. We can just easily can go back to the inspector and set the maximum size to, for example, let's make it 0.4 for example. 
and after that we'll need to like decrease the duration a little bit to be make it four now you'll see that everything works perfectly of course you can change any of the values we set to suit your game best Thank you for watching, if you learned something new today, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This is the Gamesmith, and as usual, see you in the next one.